Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. The number one thing that I see in people who are struggling through life, especially guys, is crappy dads. They didn't have the greatest father figure in the world. I want to tackle this topic. It's a huge topic. Books have been written on this. Seminars have been given on these things. There's one thing that you can do as a dad, talking to the fathers out there mainly with this one. There's one thing you can do as a dad that will automatically make you a pretty decent father, okay? And it's really not that difficult. So my example of how to be a man was my father. That's just the way nature is. If you have a father figure in your life that you, you dearly love, congratulations. If you have a father figure in your life that, that you didn't have a good experience with, you're in my thoughts. My father had lots of interests, mostly outdoors. He's a fisherman, hunter. He liked that kind of stuff, all right? What he did for me personally was he brought me with him while he was hunting and fishing. Huge. It was huge. He also took me with him on other things that he enjoyed. But his main focus in life, his main joy in life was being in the outdoors. Being out in the woods, being one with nature. That's what he really loved. And he shared that with me, which I really appreciate. Amazing experience as a, as a child. It wasn't just my dad. I had uncles, grandfathers around. But my dad, he brought me with him when he did things. Not every time, but he made it known of what he liked, and he introduced me to those things. That is how a good father acts towards a son and his daughter, as a matter of fact. Not only did my dad like to be in the outdoors, he really enjoyed going to the races. Uh, local dirt track racing, um, demolition derbies, all of these things, anything invol involving motorsports. He taught me how to work on cars. That's what rubbed off for me. Okay. So he introduced me to these things and I figured out what I enjoyed in the process. So you don't have to fake it till you make it as a dad. You do what you like. You include your kids. They like it or they don't. Don't get mad at them if they don't. If you're a huge basketball star in school and they're not interested in basketball, don't get pissed at them. Don't get pissed at them. It's the way God made them. They're not into it. It's all good. Try something else. Get them exposed in something else. Simple tactic. Honestly, do what you enjoy to do and bring them with. Expose them. That is what good dads do, okay? Don't get angry at them if they're not into something. Just expose them. If they're not into it, move on, okay? Try something else, try something new. All good. Personally, I enjoyed fishing to a degree, but I liked skipping rocks more so, okay? down. That, that was just my thing. My dad would go fishing. I'd fish with him for about an hour. I'd get kind of bored, and I'd start skipping rocks. He told me to go downstream so I wouldn't scare the fish. That's what being a good dad's all about. Okay, I was still t I still spend time with him. All good, okay? So, in turn, I introduced my son, who is now 13, to all kinds of things that I enjoy, mainly motorsports. I had a 20-year motorsports career. I raced all kinds of things, circle track mostly. I introduced him to those things. He saw the trophies in my shop. I taught him how to work on things mechanically. And guess what? He loves dirt bike motorcycles. I wasn't into motorcycles, but I exposed him to motorsports. And all of a sudden, he took a huge interest in dirt bike motorcycles and now he races motocross and I'm loving it okay I retired from my racing career 20 years or excuse me my 20-year career uh, about six seven years ago now 
I go to the track with him. I've switched gears from being a driver to a crew chief. And I'm loving it. It's so much fun. Uh, we've had a lot of good times together already. And life is good. And he's learning how to be resilient. He's learning all kinds of different skills that would be useful to, to him in adulthood. That's how you do it. Okay, there's no secret to this. Include your kids in what you're doing. Dads, just include your kids. If you do something, especially when you enjoy it, bring them with. Bring them with. You never know. Maybe they'll like it. Maybe they don't. Expose them at least. Okay? Try new things. If they're not really into something, try new things. All good. Now, that works great for sons. Let's talk about the daughters. My daughter and I, she's not into motorsports. She's not. She's she's a girly girl, okay? She's a big-time dancer. All good, okay? I can cut a rug. I make fun. I just, I make it a, a, a fun environment. And so I have a little bit of a sarcastic humor. She's developed the same thing. We go back and forth. We share that, okay? It's a little different for girls because you do raise girls and boys differently, okay? You, you do, It's just a little bit different tact, but include them, include your daughters. Okay. I had a patient just yesterday. We had a really cool conversation about superheroes, about Marvel. Okay. Like what the heck her kids came in and they had little Crocs and they had these little, uh, these little buttons on your, on her Crocs with Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk. We started, I started just kind of messing around with the kids. And so the mom ended up with an exam too. So we started talking about it and I was like, are you into Marvel too? She's like, yes. I was like, that's interesting. And she, and she says this, that was the way I can communicate with my father. We had that common interest and we have a great relationship and we still to the, we still talk about superheroes to this day. We talk about the movies and, and some comics and not everybody's in the Marvel. Her dad is. So she joined the club. And guess what? She's got a great relationship with her father. Her father included her in Marvel. Like I said, it doesn't have to be anything grandiose. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. Just include them. Give them your time. That is your greatest, that's your greatest gift to your kids is your time. Your time is very valuable. So when you give your kids your time, they have a tendency to give back to you. It's amazing. So there you have it. To connect with your kids, include them. Give them your time. Simple as that. Okay? You don't have to do anything that you're going to fake it to make it. Okay? Do something you enjoy. Listen to music you like. Share that with your children. Include them. Give them your time. Okay? I know it may sound like common sense, but I've lived this. My father was a great dad. He included me in on, on certain activities. Some of it rubbed off. Some of it didn't. So there you have it. Simplest thing you can do to become a, a great dad. That's it. So if you like this material, please like, share, and subscribe. Been doing this for about six months, just getting started. I really appreciate everybody that's already subscribed. Thank you so much. We are just getting started, baby. And uh, until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.